Right, welcome back everybody. Okay, now today um, I'm gonna go over some tips on getting rid of bugs on your fruit trees. Now certain trees are gonna be more susceptible to bugs than others and what we have growing here are three different trees. This is a pear, um, apricot, and apples. So I am having some trouble um, on these in the past and you can see that the leaves had a lot of damage on the top and it's really taken a lot of time for them to come back and get started because the infestation in the beginning uh, kept them from, from going. But there's two different trees here. I have uh, the door set, golden door set and a uh, and an apple. So I have them together. And this, the other one over here, the Anna, seems to be doing really well. I mean, look at the size of these leaves right here. Um, this thing's really taking off. Um, and this one next to it is the one that seems like the bugs are eating a little more. So uh, you don't want uh, these bugs eating your plant. Um, so there's some solutions to that. First off, if you want to come out and inspect your your plants all the time, especially your younger trees. You're going to look down in the fresh growth, like down in here. It looks like there's a little bug right there. So I'm going to take my thumb and just just smear that right into the. Uh, so you're you're killing whatever bug that is. Most likely that's a bug. Now, I'm not having any problems with this tree. They don't seem to be one, wanting to eat the apricot, um, the apple. So the apple they, they like. You can see the damage from all these different leaves. So that's really slowing the growth down. Here I only have like one decent looking leaf. And down here all this new growth. So this, this part is taking off. So you still, I'm still concerned because I caught this. If you see one bug, that means you, there's probably more and you need to do a uh, eradication of, of these bugs before they start reproducing. And I found another problem on my pear tree. And I, when, you, when you're looking around, you can, well, obviously you can see here, they attacked and ate, ate this one. They're, most likely the same bugs which are aphids um, and there's other ones as well you know either any type you see in here are just not going to be you know good for your plants so we want to make sure that we kill them so let me show you here where I found when I was looking up close I want to see if you guys can see that right in the middle of the camera right here have those two little bugs below my finger can you see those no those are aphids so I'm gonna just I got it I'm gonna we're gonna have to just smack you just want to there's no need spraying them off right now or trying to get rid of them just must smash them with your finger just kind of smear them into the, you're guaranteed that you, you killed them. They're not going to be a cause of damage. Now, so we know there's there's probably more around. So you can't guarantee that's the only two that on you know, this entire plant. So what we want to do is we are going to make a solution that you can probably find in your shower, but it's going to be a certain type. What it is is soap. So. I got this type right here. It's called Pure. It's called Dr. Browner's soap. Um, this has um, coconut oil, palm oil, sodium hydroxide water, organic olive oil, mentha arvensis. That's actually mint. Hemp oil. Um, by the way, mint is very good at um, killing bugs. Bugs don't like that. Um, organic jojoba oil, mentha perpidia, that's, that's peppermint. 
So peppermint is actually also very good. So you have the soap, which will kill the bugs, and these oils. So the combination of these, I've, um, from my experience, this is is good, and it's the same stuff you know you can use in your sh in your shower or whatever. So you don't have to go buy something special. So you know you get this at Trader Joe's or. Um, or pretty cheap like uh I forget what it was two dollars whatever okay I already got a little bit taken out all I'm gonna take is a little bit here okay you can see I'm gonna just put that I just dropped that in there okay so you can see it in there let me put the lid on I filled it up about that far a couple inches up just making a small batch okay and shake, make sure that's shaken up. Some people say don't shake, but sometimes I'll let let this actually sit overnight. That way, that soap will um, start to really, you know, break down quicker. Or just soak overnight, because the soap, when it's, the water is cold, the soap doesn't want to um, get, you know, become soapy water. So you could even, you know, wash your hands with it to get more soapiness uh, quicker. But this will do pretty, pretty well. I'm just gonna look inside and make sure it's mixed up. Yeah, it looks, it's look pretty good. So. Go ahead and. You want to get it kind of a spray, like a wide, a wide spray. We're gonna go ahead and just spray this. Go ahead and spray everything down. Real good. Under the leaves. Now this spray and also you can see it's designed to spray downward, you know, so when you point, you have to continue to spray, it's made for spraying a certain direction. So once you turn it up, it only works for a little bit and then it turns off. So then you have to restart it again. But so it's just one of those things. You can get the regular type as well. Um, here. Same, same thing, just coat everything. So you get the idea. Um, also, you wanna get underneath the leaves. So kinda of angle your, your spray nozzle up. And uh, that's pretty much, so I'm just kinda, of, I'll go over it probably two or three times to make sure I, there's no no bugs that I missed at all. Um, just use up until I feel comfortable that you've got it real well. So okay, so that should do. You know, there's different stuff that you can use to get rid of bugs, um, but this is something that's just convenient. You know, I'm, I'm all about doing things that are convenient um, with what you have around the house. So, um, if you enjoyed this, uh, press like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. And have a good day.